Marvel Studios and Marvel officially updated the bio for Marvel's Daredevil, the live action version played by Charlie Cox, and it has a chronological breakdown of all the events and all the seasons, and it confirms that the character is in fact the same one that appears in Spider-Man No Way Home. And then they do an interesting thing. Okay, so I will have the article on here and I will just kind of scroll through it quickly, but essentially it starts with the beginning origins of the character, goes through what happens in all the seasons, him teaming up with various different defenders, how the continuity all connects and everything. And right at the bottom, there was a paragraph that stated, and I quote, Sometime later, Matt was hired as an attorney to defend Peter Parker, as Parker had been publicly outed as Spider-Man and accused of Mysterio's murder. And there's quite a bit more. It essentially recaps what he did in Spider-Man, and then it leaves off with a sort of to-be-continued type of thing. And people noticed this, people started talking about it, because this officially canonized everything in the MCU. And once this hit mass, um, well, spread, I guess, across all the fan bases, Marvel officially now removed that last paragraph, leaving it with the official ending of Season 3 being where it ends. But again, it's archived in there. You can go check it if you just look back on it. People have screenshots of it. It's all there. So they literally confirmed it's canon, canonized everything else in the MCU, and then they took it all away. Now, the question is, why? Now, there's already quite a few reasons and theories that this might have happened. But again, we just don't really know. I'm going to go with the one that they accidentally posted all of this well, ahead of when they were supposed to. I think they're just kind of waiting for everything to be confirmed as officially canon with his next appearance and all that, and kind of rest assured this is all canon, you didn't waste your time, that type of scenario. And I think they honestly wrote all this, published a revision too early, and then just pulled it back and said, well, this is the one we'll keep up till we update it again. Again, we've seen them do this tons of times on Marvel.com where they update something and they're like, oh, God, we kind of uh, pulled the uh, trigger a little too soon. So then they just change it. This I remember, I think, distinctly happened with the Avengers. I can't remember which film, but I remember that happening with one of them where they mentioned the events and they're like, oh, we're just going to remove that there. And then they eventually updated it again and it was there. So I think that's sort of the scenario here. They confirm it's all canon. But they still want people to have that question. And I honestly think they did this before Multiverse of Madness as a mistake. Because I think once we get to that and this summer, it's all going to be officially 100% canonized. I mean, just to look at the changes that are being implemented across Disney. They're now openly acknowledging these shows. It's happening. They just did it too early. So are they canon? Well, is there any more debate? They had it officially on there. Then they scrubbed it when they were like, oh, we did it too early. It's all there.